is up DCS crew and welcome back to the channel. We've got some news about a fine leather company that's reached out to both myself and Eric from the Outer Limitless channel named Pop Off Leather. While they may be across the border in Canada, their products are 100% quality leather made here in the good old US of A. They've got everything from wallets to tote bags to watch straps and to be honest that's actually what really caught my eye as some good quality leather can turn a good watch to a great watch in less than 30 seconds flat. I'm a firm believer in supporting small businesses and that's exactly what makes Pop Off Leather such an awesome company. I love hearing about how a company started and hearing about them is really what sealed the deal for me. Check out this video about how they started. My name is Ryan Popoff. I'm the owner and maker of uh, Popoff Leather. This all started as a hobby. After I graduated, I was working night shift at UVic, and um, there was a lot of downtime, so I spent a lot of that watching YouTube videos on how to do leather work. Basically just became obsessed with it. sort of just a creative outlet, I guess, at the time, when yeah. I needed one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jill convinced me to throw something up on Etsy, and then we got a sale, like, the first couple of days, and it eventually paid for the leather, and that sort of snowballed into what we're doing today. Every time you use a new material, you have to learn it, and you have to be really comfortable and sort of push the boundaries of the material. With leather work, there's more than one way to approach it. All our methods are consistent, so we cut it the same way, we stitch it the same way, but there's always something different about it. Yeah, and, and this smells great. <laughs> I really like the smell. So there you have it folks, a little peek into the world of Ryan's pop-off leather. Here's the package he sent over with some really cool stuff including a little about Horween leather and a nice little thank you note for considering them. And now, digging into the bag, we have a cool little box and a decal with the red snake rocking a sweet timepiece next to the company's logo. As you can see in the back rear of the box, Pop Off Leather is based in British Columbia, Canada. Opening the box we have a black leather single pass watch strap with blue threading and steel clasps along with their business card with some tips on proper maintenance and care of the strap itself. They probably figured for close to $89 plus shipping that it's worth the investment to take care of it so good call on their part. The strap itself is extremely soft to the touch exceptionally well done and these claps are nice and secure with double stitching. Thickness of the leather is just right without being too thick. As you can see I have my grade nylon NATO strap and it's definitely thicker than that. So as it turns out this strap is their premium leather single pass Zulu watch strap made out of black shell cordovan. For those who don't know NATO watch bands come with an additional strap that slides through the two lugs so you have two straps under the watch instead of one. Zulu bands are similar to NATO bands except they're usually made a bit thicker and they have beefier round buckles. Well enough talk, let's go ahead and remove my gray strap and prep the watch for the pop-off Zulu watch strap. While that's going on I figured I'd talk a bit about the strap itself. The leather they use is specifically from horsehide and it takes six months to tan, stuff, shave and then polish the leather before it begins the process of being manipulated by the crew at Pop Off Leather. The team hand rubs the dye and then glazes the leather shell for a deep finish that creates the rich glossy look and feel that exudes quality every time it's on your wrist. It's a really nice upgrade to your watches and it really makes my Timex Weekender chronograph stand out. I look at the leather goods at the Pop Off Leather website and think back to what Ryan told me when we started to talk a bit about this company. He said that he feels fortunate to be in his workshop doing what he loves and being around such great people who take the time to get the details right with every product. The company takes enormous pride in what bears their name and nothing leaves their workshop unless they know that the end user is going to love it. 
I highly recommend checking them out. And aside from their watch products, they have a whole set of wallets, leather journal covers, pen sleeves, keychains, and they even have turntable mats. I'm definitely going to check those out and maybe pick up a pair for my Technics 1200s. But in the meantime, feel free to check out their site at www.popoffleather.com. And remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. I want to give a huge thanks to Pop-Up Leather for sending this package over for me to check out. And thank you for watching too. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe for upcoming videos. Until next time, take care DCS crew. I will see you later.